Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Tetcher, and welcome to another episode of All In. This is a show where I pick a hero in Heroes of Storm, pick an ability, trait, or other on said hero, and I go all in with it. Today, I'm going to be playing Karazim, the monk, the newest hero in the game. And I'm going to be playing the full Radiant Dash build. So, to do that, we do actually need to... We are the only healer on our team. We are going to still try and help. So, Transcendence going to try and heal up... Excuse me, a bit. If I was going 100% uh, stringent, I guess the mana regen would have made more sense. But, well, I'm sure we can... I think the healing is going to help more because it actually lets me sustain. And, well, if I'm alive, then I'm still dropping this stuff. All right. Let's focus on the Thrall. He's the weakest. Little sod, come back. No, I'm not catching him. Oh god. Body box, body box, hit any snipes. Alright, not getting that. Chest coming up in a second. We won that f uh, watched our fight significantly. We need to we need to win this though. God, where is everyone? Shit, I was there. I need to be careful. Oh, I almost got him. Nova is fighting in the bot lane. Is she winning? She has a coin. Let's go down and help. Go on, Nova. Just get, just get in there. Just get in and grab some coins. Man up. Woman up. Ghost up. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, she's super dead. <laughs> He's not even trying to fight me, despite the fact he could win. There we go. Oh shit, there's Nova. Seriously, what the hell? Where is uh, Where is our team react? Why isn't our team reacting to this? I need to heal, so it's gonna kill me in one swipe. Yep. Uh, I might still die. Yep. No, but still there. Where are the reactions from our team? We just gave up l pretty much every coin. We got one. We got one coin. The reactions are spectacular. It looks like they want me to just solo bot, despite the fact we do have a murky, who is dead. This is also a problem. Yurik's on the way, he has no coins. We're missing Soak in the bot lane, and now the mid lane. I am now in the bot lane, so I'm soaking at least some XP. They are attempting to fight! The gods <sighs> Let's go help. Not sure I can help, but I'm here now, so... Alright, so, overtake! Deadly... Oh no, we want Foresight! My dash reveals an area, which is actually very useful in this particular scenario. Oh, Nova's dead. <sighs> Their Nova's actually just playing well. Ours is being a pleb. Oh, come on. Move. Get out the way! Blocker, at least! Jesus! So <laughs> Lyric's so slow. Anyone in here? I thought there was. Okay, no, there isn't. I'll go down and soak then, shall I? There's a Muradin. I can just soak this lane. Does he have reverberation? No, yeah, he started off with block. Alright, let's pop his block. Pop his block off. Ow. Why would you stun me? Why, 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 why would you do that? I'm a, I'm a nice guy. Back up. Nova, go roam. I've got this now. Oh, God, she's going to bloody die because there's a real... There's there and over there. Oh, my God. This is already a horrible game. And the moment I'm thinking this might be uh, one of the many games that I record that you guys don't see. Due to the fact that they are just too awful. Just take that up a bit. Oh god. Get out of the range of that. Yeah, the uh, foresight. I actually quite like this. I actually sometimes pick this quite a lot in general. Just normally. Because I, I quite like it as an ability. There's an over here. It's fine though. Oh, what happened? Hey, I know we did a thing. Good job. We are missing XP on both top and mid lane. Murky is going back to top, but we're missing mid lane. 
Good job. Nice roam, guys. All right. Way of the hundred fists. So my dash now launches a volley of blows. Nice little burst of damage there. Just a little bit extra. Doesn't work on allies, but I can still obviously just dash them to get healing. Alright, let's leave that alone, I think. How does that work on the chest? Cool. Got a couple of them. Run, you sod! I'm helping you here! Jesus Christ. Ugh. What's so hard about running away? If you can't win a fight, then why stay for it? It's not very hard. Uh, Nova, are you still here? Nope, she moved. Okay, there's a fight over here. Let's go join that. So let's sneak round. There we go. Hello, Tim? Tim? Instantly distracted by a Nova. I need to attack to get my uh, health back. Ah, oh, the stun! Stun hurts! Heal! Nice. Alright, turn it to. Oh, Nova's gonna one shot me. Oh, that's not the real one. Hologram I can uh, attack. Alright, we're creeping in. Nice! Go on! Get his coins. Then I'm just going to be out of here because I have no health. If Nova's around, do we have vision of her? No, okay. There's a good chance I could get shot here. Nope, all good. All right, that actually went kind of well. We were able to turn that one around quite well. Where is my All right, I'm not sure what to take level 10 here due to the fact that I've gone... For, oh, we got Nova. I've gone kind of for a damage build. Their only healer is Brightwing. But who would I... Who am I going to be using my... Uh, Palm on. I guess Nova? I don't know. They have two warriors, so percentage health damage is pretty sick in this situation. Take that! Um. Ha. Huh. Not much I can do against both their warriors. Uh, do I commit and screw my team, or do I go for heal and try and be useful? I'm very tempted to just go over it. Let's see what the heroics they take. Triple tap, there's a good chance that I could be focused down there, but I can immune uh, use seven sided strike to make myself immune. Nope, going with seven sided strike. I'm gonna be greedy. This is a uh, damage and move maneuverability, so why not? Get out of the way so I don't take any more damage. Don't give him any more health back, because he heals when he uses that ability. Oh, you guys can get him. Nice! Alright, let's take this. Uh, let's take this. Anyone. That's a hologram. Anyone. Anyone at all. Okay, I guess I'm on my own. I can do this, but it's going to take ages, and if anyone comes, I'm going to die. Now, they're bloody fighting as well. Screw them. Just gonna ignore them. There we go. Camp taken. I have seven coins. N is it worth going turn in? Because they're chasing. So I might be able to get a, a quick cheeky turn in. Before Brightwing gets back. They're on the way. I need to like leave this way straight away. Did it, run. <laughs> Did it. Alright, and I'm just going to dash to a minion. Make sure I'm safe. Nice. Alright. Oh, hi, Muradin. Hi, Nova. Where's my banner? There's a heal. Into land. If I have enough for a dash, I can finish him off. I'm pretty sure I do enough damage for that. Uh, yeah, if I actually hit him. There we go. Got a kill. <laughs> I call that worth. Alright, so. R quick sliver, silver. Radiant dash gives movement speed. I can deal with that. And I got my seven coins in. So that actually went quite well. I got the camp. I got my coins. 
That didn't go as bad as I expected it to. Let's go help Nova. And Leoric, it seems. Dodge some minions, because they'll demount me. Oh, pew, pew, pew. Oh, he's out, he's out, he is. I don't want any of these coins. I prefer not to have them in general, but whatever. There's a turn in. Nice. Uh, they're clearing the minion wave, so let's take this. Let us do that. I can tank this due to the fact that my health regen actually makes me absurdly good in that si in a situation where I need to tank uh, mercenary camp, especially with that ability with my deadly reach. Nice. Who died? Nova did! She dived too greedy and too deep. Of course she did. Yeah, you guys got that. And our bruiser. Oh, go bit of lag there. Yeah, I'm uploading, so if there's lag, that's why. Hang on, let's move over here. There we go. So I actually get vision of uh, the area they could be coming from. There we go. Get some good vision out of that. I should have uh, focused this one down though and just used my dash on that. Oh well, still got it. Wasn't contested. So that's fine. Oh god, this is happening. I should get up here. Oh, uh, they are dead. I'm just going to turn in. Uh, they're still chasing. I can definitely get a turn in and then run to bot. Or get my coins off me anyway so I don't get sniped by Nova. That's my strategy when I'm against a Nova or anything like that. Just don't get caught with a shit ton of stuff. Where's my other sick dash? Oh, God. Alright, well, I'm out. Come on, lads. Let's get out. Play safe. Oh, come on! Didn't even try to focus the Nova. Ow! Back away, back away, back away. Get him! Careful. Heal the foul, sad. Get the coin. Heal him up, get the movement speed. Oh god, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Chase him. Oh, why me? Out of everyone. I wouldn't even heal anyone that time. Oh, I'll just let Leroy get his in. Just protect him. Get some vision. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go get some health and mana. Alright, use Radiant Dash more often. Reduce the cooldown by two seconds and increase the maximum number by one. So I can dash around the fight even more and punch people repeatedly. Which is going to be quite fun. It is actually a, a fairly fun amount of damage when you're using it consistently. That uh, way of 100 fists. Stuff is happening. I want to be in on this stuff happening. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Yes. No, oh, well, I'll finish this then. Look at that. Finished it in no time flat. Hello, Thrall. Hello, Muradin. I want no. Oh, and hello, Nova. That's not the real one, though. I don't see the real one. There's Brightwing. Where's the real Nova? I really want to try and get onto her. Oh, well, these two will do. I got a little bit of damage off. Got him. It's not the real one, is it? It bloody is. Back away from that. A lot of people here, but the vision keeps Nova visible. Oh, it's beautiful. This is going really well. <laughs> I am amazed about how effective this is, despite the fact we got wrecked so much early on. I get the vision to counter Nova. I get the huge amount of, but I get a decent amount of burst damage. What is my damage actually? And let's uh, focus that down. Uh, Twenty-two thousand. I'm keeping up with Falstad barely. That is pretty impressive. Here I got the coins. Nice. And I'm going to get my one. No, I'm not. I'm going for the top one because I kill it quickest. I kill it quicker than you, Leoric. Oh, it's fine. We can do it together. 
Ooh, that's satisfying. Spam that out, can get a pretty decent amount of damage there. I'm gonna stack up, I'm gonna build up my stacks and just do that on the next person who uh, looks at me funny. Let's try that again. Come on now, there's two. All right, there's my one. Need one more stack. Oh, spell shield. Saving life there. All right, I have three stacks. Real Nova's up there. I am now a pig. Oh god, people are just dying here. I remember we're getting this one. I also did not in the slightest bit pay attention to what was happening down there. Ha ha! I interrupt your heroic with mine! Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay. I got kind of focused there and I did get wrecked, but seven sided strike, counter to triple tap. Easy dodge for it there. Alright, and we're going to go with Epiphany because it not only restores 33% of my maximum mana, it refills, excuse me, two charges of my Radiant Dash. So there we go. We are now at full build. The, the safest full build we've ever got to. We've taken a keep. We are ahead by two levels currently. So this is one of the, despite the early game fuck aroundery, this is one of the most effective games we've had so far. And that is very sad to me <laughs> because it should not be the case. But hey, I'm doing damage. I am, in fact, doing quite a bit of damage. I am now uh, miles ahead of Murky. Still only 2k behind Leoric and a little bit behind Falstad. With a dedicated healer for just myself, maybe this is the uh, melee assassin build that you should be going for Monk. Not a, not Deadly Reach or anything like that. Just the uh, piling in with this thing and uh, seven sided strike. Piling in with your Radiant Dashes. It's very interesting. Get some vision. Make sure he's not being ganked. There we go. Now that ability I really like. I really like the, uh, I really like Foresight. It's this beautiful ability. Haha, <laughs> the movement speed, get him out. Get the Nova. Nice. So wait, can I reset my stacks and just dash people? Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Charge in. We're going to try and see how much damage we can do to Muradin in one go. Alright, let's get a second stack of this. Alright, let's just go. One. Two. Refresh. Three. Four. Oh my god! It's so good! What is this? What is this shenaniganry that we have found? It's relentless! That's, that's harder to get away from than Illidan! That is mental! I love it! <laughs> it's so good that I now have full matter again because I used Epiphany. What is- Ow! What is that? Charge him down. One. Two. Three. Oh god, he, he kind of outdamaged me quite a lot there. Oh god, Leoric, please. No. <laughs> no, please, Leoric. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna... Oh, I can help with this. I can regen up. Alright, now I'm going to be back for health and mana. Just to be safe. But that is awesome! I did not expect this build to be as effective as it did. That is interesting. I would like to see someone who actually knew what they were doing trying this build. Because that is a pretty decent amount of damage in one go. I'm on 32k now. I'm still I'm still like just behind Leoric, but Fast is actually really accelerating ahead now because he's got Nexus Frenzy. And uh, seasoned marksman, so he's actually doing quite well. But I have enough sustain thanks to my epiphany to tank a boss for our auto attacks, as we are about to demonstrate. Look at that! Oh god, murky egg, careful! I do I do some damage off my radiant dash. I regen quite nicely, thanks to my own uh, self healing and my own healing ability. So yeah, this is quite effective. Like I said before, I did not expect this to work. Oh, that hurt. To work as efficiently as it did. Can you, uh, Eric? Thank you. 
Appreciate it. And murky. Revenge is mine. Thanks, lads. <laughs> and worst comes to worst, even if he had done that, I could have just seven sided striked. And then I wouldn't have even died. Oh, that's fantastic. How is this how is the how does this work? I did not expect this to work in the sighters, but this is fantastically fun. Well let's just move in. I want I wanna kill off him. Oh god, a polyball. Seven sided! Dash to Berkey! Run! Ah, wanted to turn around and just try and burst down Muradin. But, uh, yeah! There you guys go! That was the full Radiant Dash Karasim. And that was the most effective build we've had on him, other than the full healing build, which is the meta. Like, full healing build, because he's an amazing support. Like, you just will get almost 100k if you get a decent length game. But, I did 46k! Which is way more than Brightwing, but Brightwing's terrible. But imagine this this build is mental. It's done so much damage. Like, the you saw that one chase I did. I just wrecked him. I finally beat Leoric at the end there. I beat uh, just behind Nova. was behind Leoric. was behind there, Leoric, but quite a long way. And behind their Thrall. But that was super interesting. Let's actually have a look through the talents and just uh, have a look what happened here. Transcendence... Pretty much the only thing you should take ever on a Karasim. Because you get healing for your teammates, you get your self-sustain. It's just really, really good. Foresight. Now, on this level, usually you're going for the Protective Shield. Maybe the Healing Ward if you want to do a bit of jungling. Foresight is nice on maps like the Cursed Hollow. Where you can give your team vision around a tribute area by dashing to a teammate. Or even dashing to an enemy. Because vision is so useful on a map like that where you need area control. So foresight is actually quite nice. You just get one of your stealthers maybe even to run out. You dash to them to give yourself vision and then walk backwards. So that you don't get caught out. It's a pretty interesting uh, talent. And I quite like to use it especially when I am against stealthers. Because it's the quickest stealth reveal in the game. So that is pretty awesome for you. Now, Way of 100 Fists, that is like the meat of this build, but you are missing Echo of Heaven, which is just a superbly powerful ability. So maybe think about which kind of build you want to go for before you go with this. But if you're not running Echo of Heaven and you are running Way of 100 Fists, maybe just run Divine Palm anyway. Because you saw me there, Seven Sided Striker only really, it only really worked once, where I used it to dodge out a triple tap. Other than that, didn't really do much. I still say Divine Palm's far, far better. But, uh, so yeah, maybe wave of 100 fists and just take the Divine Palm to heal yourself, even if you die, as you're, you seem to be running with a melee assassin style build here. Uh, level 13 is Quicksilver, Radiant Dash Grant's movement speed. You may not even need that. Maybe a Spell Shield or Relentless for yourself, because you're dashing so consistently in the late game. The whole point is you dash, you hit, you dash, you hit, you dash, you hit, and you just keep it up that way. Maybe, because it allows you to chase a bit more. But I'm not sure. I think maybe Spell Shield or Relentless might be a bit better for you there. Maybe even Fist of Fury so you can get more sustain out in the fight after you've used your dashes. Level 6. Uh, 16, sorry. It is the blind, uh, Blinding Speed. I quite like this, seeing as this is the... Uh uh, seeing as this is, the, once again, like, the meat and veg of this particular build, if you're using that way of 100 fists, spamming out that blinding speed can just drop a lot of damage. But you're missing out on Soothing Breeze, which is a little bit better at the moment than Blinding Speed or Circle of Life. And quite a bit better than Blazing Fists, unless you're going for a full auto attack build, in which case Blazing Fists is a superbly good ability. Level 20... If you're going for this build, then I would 100% recommend Epiphany. It's fantastic. It's extra damage, it's extra vision, it's extra escape, it's extra engage, it's pretty fantastic. Otherwise, you're sticking with your peaceful response or storm shield, depending on what the situation is. So, there you guys go. This was the surprisingly effective full Radiant Dash Karasim. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have a suggestion for which hero, ability, trait, or other onset hero I should play next, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you would like to see more from this series, then in the description of this video, there is a link to a playlist with every all-in episode to date, so you can see them all. And the other show I do, the show Heavy Meta, you uh, that will be out tomorrow. And if you want to see more of that, there is a playlist link on my main channel page, as there is with All In, and in the description of every Heavy Meta episode. That's coming up tomorrow, like I said, so feel free to leave suggestions for that as well. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.